To create a template for your background, start by creating a calculated field called box and put two quotes in it. I'll drag this calculated field to the marks and change it from detail to text. Now right click on the box, hit annotate area and click OK. Change it from standard to entire view. Then I'll right click in the box and hit format. I want the background to be a light purple, so I'm going to choose that shade, include a border, and make the corners very rounded. Then I'll resize it so I have some area to work with. Create a dashboard and pull the background in as a floating object. Then I'm going to hide the title and resize it so it fills up our entire dashboard. I like to bring the edges in a little bit so I have some more area to work with. To create more containers on this dashboard, I need to click on an area that isn't already inside our box. Right click, annotate, area, and hit OK. Now click on the new box, hit format, and we'll change the shading to be white at 100% with a border and very rounded corners. Now I can pull that inside our other box and resize it. Now I'm going to do that same process again for three more boxes. Something I found that really speeds up the process for me is to create all the boxes at once and then format them all together. With boxes that are more rectangular than square, I like to change the corners to be more rounded rather than very rounded. If you can't see the boxes, just click on an area that's outside of the boxes but on the same worksheet. Click it again, and now you can see all the boxes. I'm going to do some resizing and positioning so that they're all aligned. And then we'll have a custom layout for our dashboard that doesn't rely on any external sources like images from Canva, because this is completely built in Tableau. I'll call this worksheet Layout. And if you notice, when I hover over the layout, it shows the text box. To clean this up, I'm going to go to the tooltip and just remove everything in there.